Windows 7. That seems to be the talk these days. Everybody's talking about Windows 7. It just got fully released a couple days ago and um, in our live chat, which is right there. A lot of people were talking about it, trying to install it, or trying to get a hold their hands on it so they can install it. Um, as many of you may or may not know, I've been running Windows 7 for since the beta version. And uh, even since then, it's been really, really nice. Um, today I just wanted to talk a lot about some tips that uh, I'll be reading a lot from um, a magazine that I got. A lot of these tips I use on my own, and a few of these tips that uh, I started picking up after I read this this magazine. So, let's get started. Windows 7 may be Microsoft's most anticipated product ever. It builds on Windows Vista's positives and eliminates many of the OS's negatives. It adds new functionality too, all in a package that is less resource hungry than its predecessor. And whether or not you're upgrading from Vista or skipping it all together and moving up from Windows XP, you'll need to know how to make the most of it in your environment. Here are some tips and tricks to get you there. Okay, so first off, pick your edition. Most business users do not need the most expensive Ultimate Edition. Stick with Professional unless you specifically need BitLocker. <clears throat> and one, one little thing you can do is go over to our site, PCAddicts.com, scroll down to Windows 7 versions. I, I uh, copied over some information from a site and um, talks about the differences between each of them and then you have a nice chart here that says there's a starter edition which is mainly for netbooks you got a home basic then you got home premium what's you know what's included uh, professional enterprise and ultimate and uh, it's a nice little chart that hopefully will answer some of your questions okay upgrading go 64-bit as a second major Windows release to fully support 64-bit, the X64 architecture has definitely arrived on the desktop. Don't buy a new 32-bit hardware unless it's a netbook. Use Windows XP mode. Yes, it's only an embedded virtual PC with a full copy of Windows XP, but it's an embedded virtual PC with a full copy of Windows XP. This is the first profoundly intelligent use of desktop virtualization that I've seen in a while and a great way to move to Windows 7 without giving up full Windows XP compatibility. Now I haven't used the Windows XP mode yet personally, but there have been a couple people in our chat. Um, I believe Broken Shovel has, and uh, so feel free to come in, talk to him, see, check out his experiences with it. Okay, use Windows PowerShell version 2. More than just a shell, this is an administration tool that you've always wanted. Parallel distributed processing for administrative tasks. Manage 100 machines literally as easy as you manage one with the new remoting feature. Windows PowerShell version 2 ships for the first time in Windows 7 and within six months will be available for older versions. Now if you don't know what PowerShell is, let me just um, show you real quick. That's your interface for PowerShell. Now you also have a, um, a, a GUI version which I haven't used yet but um, Let's see if it comes up. It looks like it's trying. Where are you? There you are. There's a little GUI version and uh, allows you to test out your scripts and everything without actually fully having to run them. So I haven't used it yet, but uh, and then in here you still have your your normal commands, dir, but then also you have a bunch of aliases set up here to um, uh, like if you're a big Unix user and I used to be a, a Linux user or a FreeBSD user. Uh, years ago, you still have uh, you have all of them. LS, uh, print working directory, um, clear screen, and then clear. They both work. But anyways, there's your PowerShell. Uh, let's see, Shift to and from Explorer and Command Prompt. The classic Windows Power Toy Open Command Prompt here is now an integral part of the Windows 7 Explorer. Hold down the Shift key, then right click a folder to add this option to the property menu. While you're in command prompt, if you want to open an explorer window with the focus with the focus of the window on the current directory, enter start. So basically what they're talking about is let's say you let's say you have a file somewhere. Let's do this one. And then you go uh do, 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 where is it at? Oh man, I don't uh now it's now it's gonna be bad because I don't know. Let's see. Oh duh. Because you get a 
gotta hold down the shift key. You just read it, you dork. Now, where's it at? Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, I found it. Alright. If you right click on a folder, and we'll hold down shift and then right click on a folder, you have open command window here. There we go. And then it, sh it starts you off in the, in the path. So you don't have to sit there and CD, you know, all your directories and everything. So, okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Consider clean, or actually, no, let's do this one. Record problems. The Problem Steps Recorder, PSR, is a great new feature that helps in troubleshooting a system. At times, remote assistance may not be possible. However, a person types PSR in their instant search, which is down here. Another tip, this is actually called instant search. I always had a t hard time telling people, oh, well, hit start and just start typing. Now I'm just going to tell them, go to instant search. Where, Okay, so if we type PSR, okay, this is a problem steps recorder. Now I'll, show you, I'll show you how this works here in just a minute, but let me finish reading here. At times, remote system may not be possible. However, if a person types PSR in their instant search, it will launch the recorder. Now they can perform actions needed to recreate the problem, and each click will record the screen and the step. They can even add comments. Once complete, the PSR comp compiles the whole thing into an MHTML file and zips it up so it can be emailed for analysis to the network admin or family problem solver, depending on how it's being used. So, for instance, let's say I'm having a problem launching something. I want to go, okay, let's record this. Let's start recording. So now I'm going to go, okay, I'm going here, and then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go, let's see, home remodeling. Okay, let's just kind of put together a little thing here. Okay, close that, cancel. Let's close that, and then let's stop recording. Now, it's uh, it's allowed you to name it. Let's go um, video demo on the desktop, so I so you guys can all see where it is. Okay, so here you go. So now let's extract the files here. So what you would do is you would email this out to your admin or something. So then you just double click this, and then here's your HTML page, and it it talks a little bit about what you did. Okay, use your left click on documents. Okay, there's my dual screen. So, um, blah, 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 blah. Kind of shows the whole, everything that you did. And then it shows some additional details. And so that's a pretty cool little feature. Okay, let's wipe those. Okay, consider clean installs. Even when upgrading Windows Vista machines, consider a clean install rather than an in place upgrade. Yes, it's more hassle, but it'll produce a more trouble free computer in the long run. Uh, let's see. Find new tools. Within Control Panel is a single troubleshooting link that leads you to all your diagnostic tools on the system. There are additional tools, however, not installed by default. Selecting the View All link in the top left hand corner will help you to see all uh, will help you to see which troubleshooting packs are local and which ones are online. If you find a tool that you don't have, you can grab it from here. So let's check that out. Let's go Control Panel. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see. All right, what? <laughs> uh, did, did, did there are additional tools. Let's see. I didn't. Uh, I haven't tried this yet. Ease of use. Blah, 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 blah. Let me pause it for a second. Okay, I figured out a different way to do it. Let's just go st start in the instant search. Type in troubleshooting. I don't have time to go digging around for that. <laughs> so what they're saying is click on view all and this will show you um, all the packs that you have locally and whether it's on the, the, the web where you can, you can uh, let's see. Well, anyways, feel free to play around with it. Uh, I, I don't have a use for that at the moment. So, all right, well, let's, let's stop the video there and see. Uh, there'll be definitely some more videos coming right after this. So stay tuned.